Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will learn how to remove every k node of the linked list. So, the problem statement says, given a single linked list, our task is to remove every k node of the linked list. Let's see some examples first. In the first example, we have given a linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and k is given as 3. That means we have to remove every third node of given linked list. Means we have to remove third, sixth, ninth and so on numbered nodes. So here third and sixth node will be removed. After removing output will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. In the second example, we have given a linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and k is given as 1. Since k is equal to 1 means we have to delete all nodes of the linked list. So output will be empty list. Let's see the algorithm for the problem. The idea is to traverse the list from beginning and keeping track of nodes visited after last deletion. Whenever count becomes k, delete current node and reset count as 0. Let's understand this algorithm using an C implementation. Let's see the C implementation of above algorithm. Return type of this function is node type since it will return the head of the remaining linked list. The function takes two arguments the head of the linked list and an integer k. k denotes all the kth nodes that are to be deleted. Inside this function we check if head is null means linked list is empty then we simply return null from the function if value of input k is 1 means every node of the linked list is to be deleted then we call the function free list and pass head as a parameter in this function what this free list function do it takes head of the linked list as parameter and then start traversing the linked list. During the traversal, it is stored next of current node in the variable next and delete the current node. This is done for all the nodes. Once all the nodes are deleted, it will return to delete kth function and will return null. For cases other than these two cases, we declare a pointer ptr and initialize it with the head of the linked list. This pointer ptr is for traversing the given linked list. We also declare a previous pointer prev and initialize it with null. Prev pointer will maintain the previous of pointer ptr means it will maintain previous of every kth node of the linked list. Also we declare a integer variable count and initialize it with 0. Count is the variable which will keep track of every kth node of the linked list. We will then start traversing the linked list. If current pointer is not null means ptr is not null means we have encountered a node we will increment the value of count by 1. If count is equal to k means we are on one of the kth node, we will delete the current kth node by using next of prev since next of prev point to kth node of the linked list. Then we will point next of current k minus 1th node which is prev of next to point to next of current kth node which is ptr next and will reset value of count to 0 and will find 
the next kth node during each iteration if count is non zero we will update prev with current node and move to next node of the linked list by updating ptr with next of prev note that we have already updated prev with ptr when count is not zero so here prev is pointing to ptr when count is non zero finally we will return head of the modified linked list time complexity for this algorithm is on where n is the number of nodes present in the linked list with this we end our tutorial thank you for watching please leave us your likes and comments